Hey guys, this is Rogue from 087. It's a few days before Chinese New Year. And I got a new AK. Specifically, a GHK underfolder. We'll call the AKMS, I think. I forget the exact name. Come on, get out. So I've been wanting to get one of these under folders for a very, very long time. Uh, and it's because the stock is actually quite nice. Like you guys may think that shoring this may be, may be a little bit weird, but it actually feels quite comfortable. Um, the cheek rest is a little bit awkward. It's because when you put your face here, it feels a little bit weird, but it's very pointable and it's a lot lighter weight. Uh, that's actually one of the reasons why I wanted this thing. I mean, I just think it's really, really cool to always have a little bit of wood on your AK. Yes, I, I do like the classic look. It's just that uh, in the past year, I had some opportunities to get um, some real steel rails, and that's the reason why all my AKs are all modernized. Like, uh, I have an SOR, a, a Chaos rail, and a, and a Troy Unlock rail, and, uh, and a few others. But uh, this, this one, I think I want to keep it in just in this condition. Just because I really like the, the look of the underfolder. But the one thing I don't know is what the stock mechanism looks like. So I'm actually curious as to what that looks like. Oh, okay. So the rear here is actually quite empty, to my surprise. I thought there would be more crap over here, but apparently not. So it just appears that this stocking mechanism just stays on the left and right side over here. You can see that there's like two steel plates over here. By the way, this whole entire stock is steel. So it's really, really sturdy. Okay, I didn't know that. I expected there to be a little bit more material here, but I guess not. Let me see. Wow, this looks so clean. There's like no scratches, no nothing. Well, yeah, it's a brand new gun, but then the, th the reason why I'm I'm laughing at it is because I haven't I haven't seen a fresh AK in a while. So let me just double check everything internally. Okay, good. So that just basically tells me my full my full auto sear is working. Because uh, right off the bat, after I pull the trigger, then it fires. Now, the reason why I'm doing all these function check is because whenever you buy a GHK AK, uh, don't expect, don't always expect it to work immediately out of the box. And the reason why is because every now and then there can be, a, you know, some things that were not assembled correctly, or every now and then something is a little bit off. It doesn't happen all the time. It's it's very very rare, but you know. If you know how to check your AK, you should check it. So how I normally check it is that, so normally I just cock the hammer by hand and just see if it's locked in place. And after what I do is that I pull the trigger, notice that it didn't fall. And the reason why is because the full auto see here is catching onto it. And uh, this is normal. It's meant to work that way. Is because when your bolt returns, okay. Uh, when your bolt returns, this is what's supposed to happen. It's meant to disengage. It's meant to disengage the full auto sear. So then after it disengages, when you pull the trigger, it fires. Because uh, your bolt actually hits it like that. It hits the full auto sear and disengages it. So right off the bat, there, since there's no bolt, when I pull the trigger, it's still engaged and therefore the hammer won't fall. Unless if I push the full auto sear. See how all, the, how all that works? So you can actually function test your AK. Which, that's the reason why I like AKs, is because you can actually see everything in action. You can see everything. And that's that's why I like AKs so much. So let me just see how this underfolder mechanism works. This ring here is actually quite floppy. Jesus, this button is stiff. 
Now see, this is an AK. Look, uh, after I unlock the stock, look how stiff it is. It's really, really stiff. That's that's an AK. Now that feels really nice. How does this thing fold? Well, I'm actually not entirely sure how this works. Oh, it's just really stiff. Jesus Christ, that's stiff. Oh my god. Oh, that's nice. And also, when you get your GHK AK, it's best that you use a bit of silicone oil immediately to lube up the o-ring over here. Uh, and the reason why is because this gray o-ring, it tends to break very easily. This gray o-ring right here, that's always the first o-ring that goes, I guarantee you. So, just in case, I'm going to use a bit of silicone oil. Now, I like to use high CST silicone oil, and the reason why is because if you use silicone oil that's too thin, um, it'll just run off. Much better. I'm actually not so sure what version this is. If this is, if this is 2016 or 2017 version. Probably 2016. So I did not test fire this in the store. I got this from Bang Bang. My friend actually purchased something from from there, and then what happened was that we traded a few things, and I ended up with the AK, which I'm really, really glad I got it. Thank you, by the way. I love it. It's so bloody sick. Oh, love AKs. Oh, you see? So the magazine's leaking. It's just leaking from the bottom. There we go. Is there any leaks here? This is really cheap oil, by the way. Really, really cheap. Okay, so no leaks on the bottom, just leaks on the top. That's easy to fix. Easy peasy. That's what it looks like. I added a bit of silicone oil already. I might have to redo this once more, but I probably not sure yet. Because I think the leak is coming from either one of the or two of the tubes. So Yeah, see? No more leaks. There we go. Easy peasy. Just a test of that thing is working. And
Oh, you're right. I'm gonna dis I'm gonna disable the bolt lock. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Oh, you know what? Oh, I just realized what this cutout was for. This cutout is for the safety, but you can't really access the safety anyways. If it's it's very hard to oh crap, it's very hard to access the safety with the with the under folder. Did I not do that correctly? Okay, so the stock and the safety partially touches. They they pretty much touch each other, so oh you see it's it's lifting the safety up as I Oh, no wonder. Okay, so it was it was pushing the safety up when I was folding the stock. Okay. Nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Yeah, there's something going on outside. Let's try this new year. Probably coming to hunt me. I'm just kidding. And then the next thing you know, SWAT bust into my door. Oh, this is so sick. So, the one thing I will do is that I might, I might make the wood more darker and laminate it a little bit better. You know, do some of the. For sure, I'm going to be adding a steel recoil kit onto this just for the sake of having fun. And uh, yeah. That's it. And AKs are just so goddamn nice. I'm so glad I have one. I finally got an underfold. So bloody glad. Okay, anyways, that's it for the video. I'm gonna be doing a review of some of some of my GHK soon. Just because uh, I've been getting a lot of questions as to why I don't do reviews of GHK AKs is because I'm not really much of an expert on them. I just like them. I just like them a lot. Check out the patch wall. Oh, you guys, you guys will love this. Just give me a moment. For all of you guys on my channel who are Glock fans. Oh. Oh. Yeah. It's a great, great way to start the new year. Anyways, peace guys.